Morning Year 5s, it's our reading task. It's uh, a text we've not looked at. It's a myth from Rwanda. Uh, and it's a story of, of death and, and people hunting for death itself. So it's quite a good one. I quite like it. I've never heard it before, but it's quite a good one. So give it a little skim read. It's just that page. And then uh, let's have a look. So find the word meaning to compliment somebody. So if you have a little skim read through to compliment somebody. Uh, it's here, look, the old lady giggled, ooh, what a flatterer you are. So, the word that, you know, if you flatter somebody, you're complimenting them, aren't you? Flattery probably means to over-compliment sometimes, but to flatter. Find the synonym to call back. Hmm. Okay. Well, to call back is kind of like to reply, isn't it? So, I wonder if we're going to find something that's... Um, Mm -hmm. There, recalled. Okay, to call back um, is to to bring them back. So if you recalled his angels, um, that means he brought them back. He wanted them to come back. Sorry, I, I was I was skim reading. I didn't realize it was so far at the end. Um, next one. Which word could mean small? curved, twisting. So if you have a little skim read through this one, um, it's about, it's the description of, I'm just got to find it, I'm not familiar with this text, um, knobbly. Knobbly means small twisters. Oh no, sorry, no, 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 sorry, pointed at the wrong one. Um, Ooh, it could be a couple of things, I suppose, couldn't it? I wrote these questions. Which word could mean small, curve, and twisting? Uh, I'm going to say it's... Twined? Or, uh, or knobbly? I think you could have either of those. I would like either of those. Uh, next orange one. Find the phrase telling you the huntsman is looking very carefully. Now, the huntsman appears near the end. Uh, huntsman, ah, combing the land. If you're combing the land, you've literally got to picture somebody, you know, looking through ga grass with a comb. You're looking through every single little bit. It doesn't mean, literally mean you're using a comb, but to comb through something means to look very, very carefully. Why has death used the word maiden talking to the old lady? Well, that's here. Um, Mm. Oh, where's it gone? Uh, I've just lost it. Anyway, uh, well, maiden is um, a word you would use to call uh, a young girl uh, in, you know, in like medieval times. Ah, oh, come here, maiden. Uh, it means a young woman. And obviously he's talking to an old lady, so to call her a maiden is uh you know is, is is saying that she's a she she seems to be a young a young woman out oh, there it is a maiden a maid is lovely as yourself so he's basically calling her a young woman the old woman simpered what do you think this means she did now i'm going to be honest i don't know i didn't know what simpered meant it's here um the old woman, um so you know he's asked to go under the beach coming close the huntsman are coming closer the old woman simpered Oh, well, best coming under here. And it's quite hard. You know, at first I thought simpered was um, something like to to agree with. You know, the old woman simpered, or she finally agreed. But I had a look, and simpered means to actually give a small smile. So I genuinely didn't know that. So it'd be interesting to see, interesting uh, what you put there. As long as it's plausible, remember, it can be correct. So as long as it would fit, it can be correct. So... An actual really hard question that, as long as it makes sense, can have quite a simple answer. But the real, the, the simpered means to give a small smile. I didn't know that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, that's a really interesting text. Lots of symbolism in there as well. So I hope you enjoyed reading that one. It's quite an interesting uh, myth about death itself and the trickery of it and how how humans are always trying to beat it, beat it I suppose. Um, but well done. Thank you for that.